Hello everybody, I'm Michael Herbridge from Royal and Langnickel Brush. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We offer a wide selection of brushes and I know some of you are thinking, I've got enough brushes in my store. But you might be missing out on the market of the beginning artist and the experienced artists that are looking for really good quality brushes at affordable pricing. So I want to take you through and show you some of the unique shapes and features of our brushes. All right, the first brushes that I want to talk to you about is our Zen line. And we offer a wide range of brushes in here, including watercolor, all media, we've got standard handle, we've got long handle, and we've got three different bristle types of stiffnesses in the long handle as well. So I want to take you through a few of these brushes and show you some of the unique shapes. And the first one is going to be our Wisp brush, and this has cutout shapes on the brush. And we can load that with color. And this brush will give you some really neat effects like straight lines. You can create wavy lines and get multiple lines with one stroke of the brush. I can cross hatch to make plaid designs. I can do things like grass and feathers and fur just with that brush. It's also great for stippling. and that's using the Wisp brush. The next brush that I want to show you is our uh, cat's tongue brush, and a lot of people confuse this with the filbert, but it comes to more of a point, and the advantage of this brush is you can paint small areas and do details with it, but if you've got larger areas, you can also utilize the full body of that brush. You can create unique strokes with this brush by doing pressing, pulling, and lifting to get those types of features. You can also double load this brush with multiple colors by loading first with one color completely, tipping with another color, and when you do that same stroke, you can get multiple colors in that stroke. The next brush I wanna talk about is a liner brush. A lot of people will come into your stores and they'll gravitate when they wanna do outlining and lettering to a real fine detail brush. And the problem with using a brush like that is that when they wanna do long lines or lettering, they end up running out of paint and they have a hard time matching up that line. So liner brushes are ideal because they have longer bristles and they hold more color. You wanna make sure that you completely load that brush with color utilize the full length of those bristles. And when I teach people to use this brush because they can be intimidated by the length of the hair, I encourage them to put their pinky down and use their pinky to glide across the paper. And as they, they start to practice, have them practice straight lines, practice wavy lines, and their pinky the whole time is gliding along. Then practice doing circles. Most of the time it's best when you pull the brush toward yourself and practicing to do circles, you're pulling toward yourself and pushing away and it really gives you a good exercise to learn to use that brush. Great for lettering, great for outlining and doing design work. Next brush I wanna show you is the fan brush. A lot of people know this as a foliage brush. It's ideal for doing that. You can load it with color and things like pine trees are easy to do just by tapping that brush down and utilizing that texture. It's also a great brush for doing things like graining and feathering. Things like wood textures are easy to do just by dragging that brush across lightly to get wood graining. And one of my favorite things to do with the brush is to load it completely with one color, tip it in another color, and you can take that brush set it down, stand the handle upright, push the bristles forward, and then pull them back to get some really interesting effects. Things like waves and white caps, if you load it with blue and tip it with white, will give you some really cool and interesting effects. All right, the next brushes I wanna show you are soft grip brushes, and they also have a full range of brushes, standard handle and long handle. We have watercolor series, we have gold taclon, we have soft natural hair, and uh, stiff bristle hair. And there's different stiffnesses within the long hair family. Um, they have a single price point, one of the advantages of this line. Some of the unique brushes we have in this line include our dagger brush, and a lot of people will confuse this with an angular, but a dagger is actually longer bristles and comes to more of a point. So when I use this brush, I can load it with color, and I can use it on its chisel edge to get nice fine lines, 
but I can also take that same brush, turn it on its side, and bring it back up onto its chisel edge to get things like strokes of grass, ribbon strokes, by going back and forth with that brush. You can also double load these with multiple colors by loading with your lighter color, tipping with a darker color, and when you do that same stroke, you get multiple colors in there. The next brush I want to show you is the Deerfoot Stippler, which is a unique shape. It comes in a natural hair version, and it also comes in a gold Taclon version. Natural hair is a little bit softer, gold Taclon is a little stiffer. A lot of people will use that Deerfoot for things like stenciling um, because it's a little bit stiffer, but both can be used for techniques where you load with color and you kind of pounce that brush to get texture. You can get real light texture by tapping lightly. You can tap real hard and fill it in with color and then lightly tap over the top of it to pick up darker texture on, on the color. All right, the next brushes that I want to show you is our Mini Majestic line. And this line is a series of miniature painting brushes. There's 36 different sizes and shapes. And you'll see that there's some that are similar, like the Wisp brush, where we've got real fine designs, fan brushes. There's also some liners in this series that are real long, real short. There are daggers, and then there are unique brushes like this that are the tight spot that have a bent angle for getting to tight areas. These brushes also all have a single price point. The last brush that I want to show you is our Aqua Flow, and these come in three different sizes. They're sold in packs of three. The heads on these brushes come off so that you can fill the handles with water, liquid watercolor, fluid ink, but you can also fill them with rubbing alcohol, use them with alcohol-based markers and Sharpie markers. The nice thing with these is you don't need to have water because it's in the handle, so if you're working outdoors or in a classroom, teachers love them because when they want to wash the brush out, all they have to do is go to a paper towel, give it a squeeze, wash the brush out, and they can go right into their next color. So don't miss out on a market uh, that's looking for great quality brushes at an affordable price. Royal Brush will fill that gap for you. Thanks for watching our video.